Hello everyone, what's going on? Welcome back with me, Nathan. In this video, I will show you how to configure and use MCP servers in KiloCode. So, MCPs are additional tools and resources that you can add to KiloCode so that it can complete tasks that's not possible without those resources. For example, MCP enables KiloCode to connect to databases, search the internet, or control the browser. If you're not familiar with MCP, then I recommend you to watch my introduction to MCP video, the link is in the description. To install MCP tools in KiloCode, you can go to the settings menu and then click on this MCP server option near the bottom. This will open up the MCP marketplace where you can find and install popular MCPs in KiloCode. If you can't find the MCP you're looking for, you can add that server manually by opening the Install tab and then select either Edit Global MCP or Project MCP. It will open a JSON file in which you can add the JSON configuration of any MCP server you want to use. Global will make the MCP available globally and project will be confined only to the current project. Next, you can also open the configuration file through the server icon here at the top of the KiloCode window. Okay, so next, I will show you how to add MCP servers to KiloCode both through the marketplace and manually. Now, most MCPs are compiled as a node package, so make sure that you have Node.js installed on your computer in order to activate the MCP servers. If you haven't already, you can go to nodejs.org and install Node.js for your operating system. Now, before we get into the exciting part, please don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Just click on the subscribe button down below, and please help me reach 100,000 subscribers by the end of this year, as it will mean a lot to me, making me feel more excited to create useful videos just like this one. Now, the first MCP that we're going to install is called Exasearch MCP, and this MCP is provided by Exa.ai, which is a search engine specifically designed for AI applications. You can try out Access Search on its website. So here you can see it's pretty similar to Google and you can search about anything on the internet. For example, we can search what is Kilo Code, then press enter and AXA will retrieve all information it can get from the web as follows. You can bring Access Search Engine to Kilo Code for free so that it can retrieve the latest information from the web. First, you need to sign up for a free account so that you can get AXA API key. Back to the home page at axa.ai, just click this try API for free button and sign up using your Google account or email. I will use my Google account here and once you're logged in, you will see this API key near the bottom so just click on it to copy it. And now we can return to Kilo Code, open the settings menu and then MCP Marketplace and search for AXA Search. Here's the AXA Search MCP, so click on the Install button and the Installation Setup window will appear. You can select to install this MCP in the current project or globally. I will just select Project for now. And then there is Installation Method down here, just leave it as NPX. And then you can provide your AXA API key down here, so I will just paste my API key. Now click Install. And with that, the Access Search MCP is now installed and we can start using it with KiloCode. Let me show you an example. So let's close these windows first to make the interface clean. And now let's change the KiloCode mode to as here. And now let's ask KiloCode to search the web about prompt engineering. Press enter and let KiloCode process the request. And here we can see that KiloCode asks for permission to use the Access Search tool, which is provided by the Access Search MCP. Here's the parameter that KiloCode will send to the tool. So let's allow this and let the process run for a moment. And then after a while, KiloCode will take the information provided by AXA and summarize it to answer the question. You can see here that it also provides links to learn more about the topic we asked. And that's how you can use MCP in a nutshell. It provides KiloCode with additional tools that can be used to complete specific tasks. Let's see how to install another MCP next. Next, we're going to install Puppeteer MCP which is used for browser automation. When you add Puppeteer in KiloCode, you can ask it to control your web browser, take screenshots, fill in forms, and even navigate to specific websites. To install the Puppeteer MCP, you can open KiloCode's MCP Marketplace again and simply search for the Puppeteer MCP. Click the Install button and notice that this time, the MCP doesn't need an API key to run. So just click Install and now the Puppeteer MCP should be online. 
You can simply ask Kilocode to use the tool to test it. Let's close all of these windows for now. And now, I will ask it to open the Hacker News website and then save the top 10 news as a markdown file. I will add Use Puppeteer here just to clarify, and then press Enter so that Kilocode can process the request. And here, you can see that Kilocode wants to use Puppeteer to open a browser and navigate to the Hacker News website. So let's just approve this. And here's the browser opened by Puppeteer, let me put it on the screen. So it simply navigates to the Hacker News website, and back in Kilocode here, Puppeteer wants to take a screenshot of the page, so let's just allow it. And now it wants to run some JavaScript code to scrape the titles, links, points, and other useful data. So let's just allow it again. And after that, the AI will create a markdown file and write the top 10 news based on the scraped data. And here's the result from the prompt. We can see the top 10 hacker news stories for today as a markdown file. So yeah, I think that's it for Puppeteer. Next, I will show you how to install an MCB server manually. And now, I want to show you how to install the magic UI MCP that's not listed in Kilocode Marketplace. If you're not familiar with magic UI, it's simply a collection of UI library that you can use in your web projects. Let's browse the components here, and we can see the marquee component here, which is one of the many components provided by magic UI. This marquee component will scroll horizontally and stops when the mouse hovers over one of the items. So we will try to add this component to our project by using the MCP server. Because this MCP is not listed in Kilocode, you need to install it manually by adding the JSON configuration as shown here. The MCP can be run without API key, so just copy the config and paste it into Kilocode's MCP JSON file. Put it below the Puppeteer MCP, now save the changes, and the Magic UI MCP should now be available in Kilocode. Let's try to run it by asking Kilocode to create a marquee component that will show the top 10 hacker news stories. Press enter and let's wait a moment. And now you can see that Kilocode wants to use a tool from the Magic UI MCP. Let's approve this request and I will fast forward to when the generation is finished. And here Kilocode has completed the task, it created an HTML file and used the marquee component to display the top 10 stories from Hacker News. If you want to see the result, then here it is. You can see that the marquee here stopped when we hover over the elements, just like in Magic UI demo. And so that's how you can use the Magic UI MCP to add beautiful UI components in your project. If you like this video and would love to support the channel, you can consider donating to my channel through the super thanks option below. Or you can consider joining my YouTube membership where you can use this channel's emojis, get early access to new videos, plus a lot more. Overall, that's how you can use MCP servers in Kilocode. To install one, you can open the MCP marketplace and then search for the MCP server you want to use. You can add as many MCP as you need and Kilocode will use them when it thinks the tool is required or when you specifically ask to use that tool. When the MCP you want to use is not registered, you can add the configuration manually to the mcp.json file provided by Kilocode. Usually, you can just copy and paste MCP server's config to the JSON file, but some MCPs might need extra configuration, such as the access search MCP that requires an API key from EXA. So make sure to check out the instructions for the specific MCP server you want to use. And now we have come to the end of this tutorial. You have learned how to set up MCP servers in Kilocode so that it can have more tools and resources to complete tasks for you. I hope you all enjoyed today's video and get some value out of it. Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I will join the conversation and reply as often as I can. If you're new to the channel, Code Nathan is a channel dedicated to simplify complex tech topics so that you can master them easily. Make sure you subscribe if that's something you find interesting. Make sure you like this video, turn on the notification bell, all the good stuff as it helps this channel to grow. With that being said, thanks again for watching until the end, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in other videos. Bye bye!